Hey you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be doing a love reading for the Zodiac Son of Aquarius. So before I get started doing this reading, I heard the ice cream truck. I keep hearing it actually. And it's been right there for a minute. So that could be significant here. Now I'm hearing um, ambulance. So I don't know if somebody here can work for the ambulance or you got your own ice cream truck or somebody here loves ice cream or somebody wanna take you up like on ice cream date or something. Or when I think of ice cream, I think of something sweet. So somebody here could think of sweet, or you could think of somebody sweet. You could be talking to somebody new, okay? Or somebody here wants to show you their sweet side. I'm seeing that somebody probably never really showed you their sweet side, you know, them catering to you or something like that. But they showed you this hard defensive side where they was like going through shit and dealing with other people and you know treating you like they ain't got no fucking sense so well somebody here can have their own business here where you can like you know um i don't know you can make your own ice cream or it's like you could have this business here where you have sweets or something like you can make like cupcakes cakes all right, you know, strawberries or chocolate over them, something like that. Okay, or that's what somebody here wants to do. So if that's what you plan on doing, you know, you need to do it. That's for somebody here. Okay, so I hope, I'm going to say I hope this video gave you guys a lot of clarity. <laughs> but I hope what I said gave somebody some clarity, okay? So let's see what is a person to be illuminated on right now spirit guides of the light ancestors and the masters my angels are the prayer of my light there must be a lot of people getting some ice cream because that ice cream truck been right there for like 15 minutes already okay so let's see what is a person to be illuminated on so we have here a read in between the lines we have here you're on the right path. We have here X for guidance. We have pride and ego, but it came out of reverse. So somebody here is releasing their pride and ego, which is good. Okay, can we see in one one one? We have confusion. And we have here fear. Did they come out of one? We have fear. And vacation at the bottom of the deck. So yeah, somebody most definitely gonna need a vacation or a getaway after um dealing with all this shit. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Let me use these this deck. So clarify reading between the lines. Somebody could be reading books, or somebody here is trying to like balance their chakras, you know, or um somebody here could be like like laid back. It's like when they like meet new people, they just don't be like, you know, all like a social butterfly, you know? Like they like, they have to like read them first, you know? And then they know if they need to open up to this person or not, or that they want to hang out with them or something like that. This could be you a craze. You could be like that. People be like, you know, think you're shy or nervous or something, but it's like, you know, you're just not somebody that open up quickly to anybody, you know? Like you probably say, hey, or you know? thank you you know like simple mannerism but it's like you're not the type to tell somebody your life story like right on back or be like i don't know be open it's like you're, somebody here could think like you're mean or something but it's like you're not mean you know it just what you rather do and i don't think nothing wrong with that okay because you know everybody's not right and it's like you just can't be you know giving that good energy to anybody, you know? So let's see, clarify the rainbow between the lines. So we have Queen of Swords. Yeah, it's like you're guarded. Um, but I'm also seeing you're very intelligent, you're very wise, okay? And it's like you could read through people with the Queen of Swords here, okay? You know, you could be funny as well. You could be a mother, the Queen of Swords here. Or with the Queen of Swords, it's like, you know, it's like you like to challenge yourself. So it's like you could be reading books that's like harder for you. You know, like either trying to study like vocabulary 
like if you don't understand a word in a book like you research it you write it in your notes or something like that like you're you like you could like be like a nerd okay you love learning about things around you the world okay you could be um in school or you could be like a teacher okay you could like to like talk you know as well so you could be like a motivational speaker or something like that or it's like you're into psychology like you like to know why people think that the way that they do like you like the you know you wish you could read people's minds you know or you could be a tarot reader okay you could be studying that i just heard something about a doctor so you could be studying for a, a doctor degree okay or you could be researching about this um, connection of yours, the spiritual connection. Clarify, read between lines. So the four walls is some flame card, yeah. About the this this choice, okay. Yep. Mhm. Mm it's like you could either have people that's trying to come in and talk to you, and it's like you don't want to make the wrong decision. So it's like you're getting to know these people, and it's like you. You know if somebody here is lying. You know, like, you know how people just be trying to front and lie and speak highly of themselves, but they never tell you, like, what they did wrong or nothing like that. And it's like, you know, you're trying to feel somebody out here. What I'm seeing here could be people that just be expecting you to, like, sleep with them, like, have sex with them or something like that because they either got money or... They're attractive or something like that. They're popular. And you're like, mm -mm. like I got to see your mindset. How do you think? You know? Clarify you're on the right path. So, yeah, you're most definitely on the right path. Okay? Like, for the stores. I just heard leading by example. You know? So, it's like you're moving the right way. You know? You're not gullible. You know? For a stores. Yeah, so right now you could be meditating. Um, you could be, you know, spending time alone in solitude, relaxing, healing. Okay, seven of wands here, yeah. That's another card to me that means that you're guarded. What else for we're on the right path? We have here the temperance. Yeah, it's like you don't want to be bothered right now because it's like you still have stuff that you need to do for yourself. You know, so it's like right now you just probably don't want to be bothered with nobody. You either could just be, you know, trying to get your shit together. So when you and your person come back together, you know, everything could be like aligned. Okay, clarify ask for guidance. We have here the Ten of Swords. Yeah, so it's like you could have, yeah, closed out a, a cycle here with the karmic. It was painful. Okay, and it's like you're trying to see what's next. So you could be praying to whoever you're subscribed to. Yeah, Eight of Swords. You know, you could be confused. Or it's like it's still something that you're confused about that you need clarity on. Okay, you could be asking the universe for signs. Or you could be, um, I don't know, click on the Eight of Swords. It's like you're, you're, your mind is racing right now. Because I feel like, you know, he was either in a situation where you've been in there too long. So it's like you picked up these bad habits here that you're still trying to get rid of. Okay, where they either be thinking negative, um, you know, staying stuck, you know, in fear or... It's like you picked up the same habits here that your karmic had. We have nine wands so yeah. It's like you feel like a wounded warrior or you stay in situations longer than you need to because it's like you don't want to give up too quick or, you know, you feel sorry for that person or you have abandonment issues or something. It's like you're trying to, you know, do some self-discipline here and push yourself, you know? Yeah, I'm most definitely saying that you could be meditating here. It's like you're getting answers or that's what you need to do. Okay, you can get answers by meditating here, you know, sending some quietness. Or you can have music on in the back that's like, you know, really relaxing and calming, okay? Clarify pride and ego in reverse. So we have the star here. You most definitely healed that. You could have had like 
you know, a big pride in your ego or something like that. Or is somebody here that you close out a cycle with that's trying to keep you stuck? They're trying to be manipulative here. Okay, they're trying to, yeah, it's like they're playing mind games here. Okay, clarify part of ego in reverse. We have the Queen of Cups. What else? We're probably going to go in reverse. And we have the King of Cups. So yeah, you and your crown part here is coming back together. Queen of Cups, King of Cups. Yep. I feel like both of y'all have healed that, you know, this part of ego that y'all had, you know. Somebody here is realizing, like, you know, they need to grow up. That's, like, immature of them, you know. Somebody here is ready to express themselves, be vulnerable. Okay. Clarify confusion. So somebody could be confused either if you're talking to somebody else, not a pentacles here. Or if you're single, like, they want to know. Yeah, or if you're hiding something from this. Somebody here thinks you're very mysterious, okay? Clarify the confusion. High Priestess. <laughs> yeah. The Moon and the High Priestess, them are the two mysterious cards to me. So, somebody here is also confused on how you know what you know. Like, how do you get these gifts? Because you could be very spiritual. You could be, like I said, a tarot reader. Okay, you can know a lot of stuff that's hidden, but you don't speak on it. You know, it's like you, you keep everything close to your chest here. Okay, and somebody here is confused. They want to know how much do you know about them. <laughs> it like it scares them. You like you are intimidating here. You either make somebody nervous or something, or you know, like I said, you can read through people. You know, if somebody here is being honest with you, or they're lying, or they're you know being deceptive here. They're hiding something from you. Somebody here feels like they're hiding something from them. Clarify fear. This person thinks you know all the bad shit that they have done. <laughs> I don't know. We have five of wands. Yeah, this person can have fear of intimacy here. Or fear about like what's going to come out about them. Like they feel like they're going to get exposed. Somebody here could be threatening this person. Trying to instill fear in them with the five of wands here. We have the ten of pentacles here. Yeah. This person is in a family dynamic here. And it's like they have people... That's in this family dynamic here, they either want them to stay where they're at, page of cups and the little fortune, but they want to come in towards you in the romantic offer here, which they is. They're not letting nothing stop them. Okay. In the past, they could have had fear, but it's like they're, they're pushing through it. You know, they could be telling themselves fearful stories, you know. Or they're done trying to please people in this family dynamic here. It's like these people only care about money and these people always fighting and there's always some tension and conflict. You know, this person's ready to come towards their person that they're fated to be with. But the Wheel of Fortune here, you know. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune. The Page of Wands. Yeah, so this person, they don't know what to say. They're confused. They want to communicate with you, though. They want to say something. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, they want to apologize to you. Okay, Six of Swords. Yeah, because it's like they, they have a fear that you're going to either get revenge on them or something like that. Because like I said, they're dealing with people that did this to them. You know, they got revenge on them that they still hang around, which is weird. But Page of Wands and the Six of Swords. Yeah, this person, they're coming towards you. Okay, I see a lot of move, movement forward. Okay, and they're going to come in sure yep they're being online on a lot of stuff right now that could be x for guidance here and it's the karmic that are trying to keep them stuck but they know the truth here and they're following this guidance here you know just fear but it's like they're gonna get past it you know they're realizing fear is an illusion you know and it's like they have um you know blessings already have a, a new beginning here you know where it's gonna be happiness peace prosperity you know and they're like, I want to go towards that new beginning. Okay. So, and they could just be confused because, you know, it's a lot of stuff going on right now. They just be like, why is all this shit happening? Like, I need a vacation. <laughs> no wonder. Like, and you left quite an impression on them. And it's like, they're waiting for you as well. 
and love. Yeah, they love you a lot. And they want to spend time with you. Yep, and they're releasing this karmic here. But they're and they're keeping this a secret here. They're being illuminated on what they are finding out. And they want to heal your heart. Everything be at the bottom of the deck here. And you guys can move in together as well. But this person might definitely want to take a trip with you where you know y'all could just, you know, relax. Yeah, for sure. So I hope this video gave you guys a lot of clarity. If it did, don't forget to like this video, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.